Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to September of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new here, hello, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what is up? So in this video, we are going to be looking at your month of September from the point of view of true sidereal astrology. So this is going to be mainly for Cancer rising um, in terms of the placements of the planets in the chart and through the houses. So in terms of that, if you're not a Cancer rising, then the placement of the planets is not going to resonate for you, or at least it's not going to be accurate. But that doesn't mean that you can't still resonate with this if, say, you're a Cancer Sun or Cancer Moon. Now, like I said, we're going to be looking at this from the point of view of true sidereal astrology. If you're new to true sidereal astrology, I highly encourage you to stick around, hang out at the channel, smash that like button, but also subscribe because whenever I talk about astrology here on Divine Conversations, I talk about it from the point of view of true sidereal astrology. So if you're new to that, if you're unfamiliar with with it and you'd like to study it along with me, then stick around. Yeah, you have found yourself in the right place. If you have never seen your true sidereal chart and you would like to get a copy of that to see what it looks like for yourself, I highly encourage you to shoot me an email. My email can be found in the description box below. I will be more than happy to provide you with your chart free of charge. Now, if you would like to also schedule a session with me for a natal chart interpretation from the true sidereal system, that will be charged for, of course, but I'm also available for that. But if you would just like to have a copy of your chart for future reference as we continue down this road or down this journey together, please hit me up and let me know. Provide me with your information, your birth date, your time of birth, and your place of birth, and I would be very very, very happy to provide that to you. And as always, please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe. Yeah. And if you would like just a general tarot reading or anything else, again, hit me up. All right, Cancer, we're going to get into this. For the month of September, for you, um, what I channeled, the understanding that I channeled for you was uh, the big reveal. Now, we did have the new moon back on August 27th. For you, that energy was concentrated within your second house. And throughout the month of uh, September, the sun is going to be continuing his transit through your second house. So I feel like there are there could be a big change shift happening for you in terms of your values, what it is you value, what you place value in your life, how it is maybe you make money and that kind of thing. And I do feel like this is helping to be um, facilitated or is helping to be shifted by Uranus's uh, mo movement through Aries, which um, I believe for you is in your 10th house. Yes, is in your 10th house here. Um, and so the 10th house is your career uh, goals, your career aspirations, but also the 10th house could represent your the, the, the way that people view you, your public image, okay? Uranus moving through Aries in your 10th house, I feel like is helping you to revolutionize who you are, a sense of who you are in relation to the collective or maybe just how people see you, but also with the 10th house being your house of um, your career and at career aspirations, I feel like that could be going through a massive overhaul through this transit with Aries. Now this translates into energies with your second house because with the sun moving through your second house here, I think, I feel like this, the sun is putting a focus on what it is that resonates with you in the truth of your soul in terms of money, how you make money, what you wanna be doing to make money, but also just your values, okay? What you place value in, what you find value in in your life. Now, the first card that's come out for you here is the Ace of Pentacles, and this definitely resonates with this energy for you. So the new moon was in your second house, and that the new moon is, and that was back on August 27th, Saturday, August 27th, and new moons are a really great time 
time to wipe, wipe the slate clean and prepare your garden, till the soil or prepare your garden to plant a new seed. And I definitely see the Ace of Pentacles as a representation of that, the new seed for you, okay? So really, I feel like there is a brand new opportunity coming forward for you. Something is coming online for you, for you to be able to really pursue this sense of new. However, Uranus has been uh, uh, working his magic you know, for you in terms of reshaping your career goals and whatnot, whatever. I feel like now September is a really great time for you. You have that opportunity to get that started. Now, the other thing that's going on in the planets right now, one of the other major things that I want to talk about at the moment here is Mars transiting through um, uh, Taurus. And for you, and now, now Mars is going to be transiting through Taurus until late March of 2023. For you, Cancer, this has been happening in your 11th house um, your 11th house is your friends your friendship your social groups and all that but it's also the houses of your the house of your wishes and your desires with Mars moving through Taurus Mars and Taurus really gives us a sense of tenacity and a real sense of drive and follow through to really build or shape or create the things it is that we want to create here ace of pentacles so as Mars is moving through your 11th house in Taurus for you I feel like this is really giving you the opportunity to get you get you going get started start taking that action start building the situations here that you are wanting to achieve or wanting to receive the new that you're wanting to achieve and receive in your life now as i was talking through um and and shuffling the four of swords came out and the four of swords came out while i was talking about the new moon in um on, on august 27th that was in leo okay but for you it was in the second house i feel like this new moon moon definitely gave you a clean slate the clear as giving you a clear mind but this is also translating into what's next i feel is next coming for you in the month of september and that's connected to the full moon the full moon is going to be in aquarius right the moon will be in aquarius the sun will still be in leo and for the collective i feel like this full moon in Aquarius is allowing us to give us, uh, giving us the opportunity to really bring forward what it is, that sense of new, that the new moon inspired us to begin to understand, okay? It's giving us the opportunity to bring that out into the open. Also keep in mind that Aquarius is the ruler of the 11th house, which is where you have Mars transiting in through Taurus, okay? But the, also the big thing for you and what in my opinion is making this the big reveal is that this full moon in Aquarius is happening in your eighth house, the house that is ruled by Scorpio, the house of death and rebirth, the house of occult, the, the house of magic and witchcraft and mystery and divination, but it's also the house of revealing, okay? And, I, and I'm definitely feeling like the full moon in your eighth, eighth house this month is where this big reveal energy is coming into play. So it, and, and the, the, the full moon is happening on September 9th, right around the time of when Mercury is starting his retrograde motion. So as I was feeling through this for you, Cancer, I felt like something was is about to be revealed for you. That's why I'm hearing and feeling this is I'm calling this the big reveal. Okay, um, and it, either you are going to be the one that's feeling confident or is getting that boost that burst that blast of energy to really start to communicate about what it is that you want to really go after what it is that you want bringing that out out from underneath or out from being hidden within you and bringing that out into the world but also it could be that circumstances happen in your life in which it just naturally is revealed. Whether you reveal this yourself or whether circumstances the universe reveals this for you don't fight it. Go with it. Own it, Cancer. You have the right, the ability to own your own desires and thoughts and feelings and beliefs. If this does end up just being revealed for you, so be it. Take that opportunity and run with it, okay? Let me show you guys the chart here. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
technical difficulties. Wait, hold on a second. I'll get you the chart in just a moment here. There we go. There's the chart. All right. So this is the chart for you, Cancer, for the month of September 2022. As you can see, this is September 1st, starting out our month. The sun is in the second house for you in the constellation of Leo. Um, and uh, this is also where the new moon was for you back on August 27th in the second house for you, okay? Now, moving forward, let's move forward a few days to the full moon. Here we go. September 9th. Now, the actual full moon, the exact full moon is going to be in the wee hours um, late September 9th into early September 10th okay but as you can see the sun is still here in Leo in your second house and then the moon here is in Aquarius in your eighth house okay this is where the big reveal feels it, this is where the big reveal is coming from all right, Mercury down here in your third house in Virgo is state is going to be going retrograde. Okay, this right around September 9th, right around the time of the full moon. This is when Mercury starts his retrograde motion, okay? And with spend and Mercury is retrograde throughout the month. Mercury starts to go direct not until October 1st. So we really have the whole month of September to really work on rewriting this programming. That's what I like to say about Mercury retrograde. It gives you a moment to really rewrite that programming, to change any of your processes. For you specifically, Cancer, I feel like this Mercury retrograde is really going to give you an opportunity to start to learn and or do the research if this whatever it is however it is you are looking to change your career moving forward however it is the new that you're doing or putting into place to get go towards what it is you dream of at this time in your life mercury retrograde is a really great time for you to start doing that research um i feel like for some of you you may actually want to start um a new course like a a maybe a training course, um, go back to school for something or something like that. That's a really great time for you to do so. And then also, like I said, you do have Mars up here is transiting through Taurus in your 11th house. This is really giving you that tenacity to, 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 to see things through, to follow through, to put your nose to the grind and really do that work in terms of creating what it is that you dream of, okay? Now, the next thing that I really wanna talk about here for the collective would be, or for you, Cancer, but also for the collective, is the new moon in Virgo at the end of September, okay? Now, for you, Cancer, this is straddling your second and your third house, all right? But the thing about this new moon in Virgo at the end of the month of September is that it is incorporating a stellium, okay, between the sun, the moon, Mercury, and Venus. And the beautiful thing about this stellium, including Venus here, is I really feel like Venus is giving the collective um, a shot of fertilizer, all right? So this, like I said, for August, August 27th, that last new moon, this new moon in September, September 25th, is going to be a great time to have that slate clean. I really want to encourage you, Cancer, to... Um over the month of September to really start to set the groundwork for whatever it is you want to create, the new chapter in your life that you want to start moving towards, all right? Um, so allow this time over the month of September for you to really get incorporated with that, get the ball rolling, and then by the time we reach this new moon, it'll be a great period for you, a great starting point for you to really set this in motion because the new moon is a great time to wipe the slate clean and start to prepare the energies for whatever it is like I said to prepare till the soil and get your garden ready so that you can start to plant that seed. Now, the next card that as I've been shuffling here, the eight of wands came out here for you. This is um, confirmation that you really can get the ball rolling. All right. The air is clear. The space is clear. You have got the wherewithal. You've got the follow through. You've got the green light from the universe to set this 
in, to set this in motion and get things really, really, really rolling for you. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, can, bottom of the deck cancer is justice, okay? This is encouragement. Whatever the new is that you're, in, that you're feeling guided to move forward towards, it's really going to bring you a great sense of justice in the long run. It's really a justified situation for you, and it's really going to help you balance those scales. Let's see if I can get anything else. Closing message for cancer. Anything else you want to say for cancer, please, spirit, for the month of September here? Three of Wands. See this through. Follow through, okay? Know that you will be successful. Know that you will receive the fruits of your labors. And uh, also what I'm, get, what I'm getting with this Three of Wands message here is anything that comes up for you that seems like um, a setback or a hindrance, don't look at it that way. Just look at it as steps to help you uh, iron any out, iron out any kinks, whatever it is you may need to learn, whatever it is you may need to study or focus on or fresh up, freshen up on. Don't allow that to get you down because ultimately it's all going to lead you towards your goal. Okay. So just follow the universe's guidance here. And also, especially pay attention to your intuition and follow your intuition in terms of this. However, it's guiding you here again, justice is really about to be served in your life in terms of creating the new, especially in terms of what it is you truly truly dream of in your life at this time. There you have it, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know how this resonates for you. Again, if you would like a look at your chart, if you've never seen your true sidereal chart and you'd like a copy of that, please don't hesitate to email me. I will absolutely love to get that to you free of charge. Also, I am available for natal chart um, uh, descriptions. If you would like to get uh, book a session with me, check the information in the description box below shoot me an email and i will be more than happy to set that up for you also if you would just like a general tarot reading or anything like that please don't hesitate to email me but with that said cancer i hope you have an absolutely fantastic month i am so happy to have been here for you to be able to channel this message for you and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon yeah bye